Welcome to Mixed Videos Online 2023. Top 10 Classic World Filipino Foods Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's explore the great wonders of food in countries all over the world. The Philippines is the second largest archipelago in the world and is made up of 7,107 islands located in the South China. Sea cuisine centers around the combination of sweet sour and salty base of cooking flavor. The food consists mostly of vegetables, seafood, dairy meat and rice that is one thing that makes Filipino food interesting. Its smell makes it unique and it is something you definitely have tried and watch out for. Let's begin first on our list. Filipino adobo. Filipino adobo from Spanish adobo marinade sauce or seasoning is a popular Filipino dish and cooking process in Philippine cuisine that involves meat, seafood, or vegetables marinated in vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, and black peppercorns, which is browned in oil and simmered in the marinade. It has frequently been considered the unofficial national dish in the Philippines. Second in our list. Pickle Express. Pickle Express known natively in Bicol spiced with chili is a popular Filipino dish which was popularized and hyped up in the district of Maladi, Manila, but made in traditional style. It is a stew made from long chilies, coconut milk, shrimp paste, or stock fish. Onion pork and garlic it is said to have been inspired by the Fai by Alano dish which is nowadays presented as one of the many variants of Pickle Express. Fourth on our list Sinigang is a Sinigang. Filipino soup or stew characterized by its sour and savory taste. It is most often affiliated with tamarind although it can use other sour fruits. And leaves as the souring agent it is one of the more popular dishes in. Filipino Sinigang typically use meat or seafood fish pork beef shrimp or chicken stewed with tamarind tomatoes garlic and onions other vegetables commonly used in the making of Sinigang include okra tara corms white radish water spinach yard long bins and eggplant most Filipinos like to cook Sinigang with green long peppers in order to enhance the taste and add a little spice to the dish another variation includes adding locally made miso. fifth on our list Kinalor. Kinalor is literally eaten raw, it is more accurately a cooking process that relies on vinegar and or acidic fruit juices, usually citrus to denature the ingredients, rather than a dish as it can also be used to prepare meat and vegetables. The most common Kinalor dish is fish Kinalor prepared using raw cubed fish mixed with vinegar, usually coconut vinegar or cane vinegar as the primary denaturing agent. It is flavored with salt and spices like black pepper, ginger onions, and chili peppers. Commonly birds eye chilies and popular kinds of fish used in quinoa. Include Spanish mackerels, king mackerel, or wahoo marlins, or swordfish yellowfin tuna milkfish and anchovies. Sixth on our list, Leshen Barboy. Leshen barboy is a dish in which the entire pig is stuffed glazed and slowly spit roasted over coals. The most coveted part is the crispy golden brown skin which tops the tender. Meat that melts in one's mouth the preparation of lechon is lengthy. The Filipinos see it as an excellent opportunity to socialize traditionally. 
the pig or piglet is slaughtered early in the morning its entrails are removed and boiling water is poured over the skin so the hair can be scraped off. The next salt and pepper are rubbed on the inside and the outside and the pig is skewed on a long bamboo pole. The inside of the pig is stuffed with various ingredients, which can include lemongrass, garlic, onion, bay leaves, tamarind leaves, saber, bananas, and star anise and is then sewn together. With twine the pig is slowly roasted over coals while being turned and constantly glazed with either evaporated milk, soy sauce oil, or even soft drinks. Seventh on our list Bulalo. Bulalo is a beef dish from the Philippines it is a light colored soup that is made by cooking beef shanks and bone marrow until the collagen and fat has melted into the clear broth. It typically includes leafy vegetables like pitcher or cabbage corn on the cob scallions onions garlic. Ginger and fish sauce potatoes carrots or taro can also be added it is commonly eaten on rice with soy sauce and calamansi. On the side Bulalo is native to the southern Luzon region of the Philippines particularly in the provinces of Batangas. Eight on our list Dinagawa is a dingoi. Filipino savory stew usually of pork coffee typically lungs kidneys intestines. Ears heart and snout and will meat simmered in a rich spicy dark gravy of pig blood coconut milk. Onion pepper bay leaves garlic chili and vinegar. It can also be made from beef and chicken meat dinner. Dingoan is usually served with white rice or a Philippine rice cake called puto. The most important ingredient of Dinagan recipe is obviously the pig's blood pork blood. It is used in many other Asian cuisines either as coagulated blood acting as a meat extender or as a mixture for the broth itself. Ninth on our list Sizig. Sizig is a dish made from parts of pig head and chicken liver. Usually seasoned with calamansi onions and chili peppers. It usually refers to fruits preparing CSIG comes in three phases boiling, broiling, and finally grilling. A pig's head is first boiled to remove hairs and to tenderize it portions of it are then chopped and grilled or broiled. Finally coarsely chopped onions are added and served on a sizzling plate variations of sizing may include pork or chicken liver and or any of the following eggs ox brains kaikara and pork cracklings and mayonnaise although these additions are common these days. The tenth on our list crispy pata. Crispy pata it is a Filipino dish made from pork leg usually from the hock to the trotters. Traditionally tea is cooked deep fried but it can also be cooked in the oven. The main target is to have a crispy skin as the name implies as this dish normally requires some time to prepare. It is usually reserved for special occasions or for the holidays. Many Filipino restaurants would also have crispy pata in their menus including pubs as it is a well-loved booze appetizer some even offer bonus versions of it. Crispy pata is not complete without the accompanying dip a mix of vinegar soy sauce chopped onions ground pepper and sometimes chili rabuya. Please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell have a nice day and thanks for watching.